Now, as part of uh, these questions, a lot of these questions will be either around networking or security. Now, having a look at this question, this question says list three measures that you can use to maintain the security of a computer system. All right? Not a computer on its own, but a computer system. So when you see the word system, you're thinking about the whole thing. All right? Outline what the measure is and explain what type of cybersecurity is it effective against. All right? So, can we suggest one thing, all right, that we would need on a computer system to keep it safe? Yes. Username and password. Unfortunately, that is not what we're looking for. It, it's called something else. You're on the right track. What is that type of system called on a computer? I would accept that or log in, all right? So, some sort of, all right, if you want to make a note, some sort of authentication or you can say login system now that on its own is probably enough to get you one mark but we're heading for nine marks here so what I'm looking at is you making your point understanding what the point is what does it do and what is it effective against so what is login all right outline what is it what is it yes Yeah, so used to verify the user identity. Please be a little bit specific with it using, give an example, all right? Biometrics, you could say biometrics or username. and password all right what else uh, so we've got our outline because we said you need to have your outline so we've said what it is what is our outline and what sort of thing it protects against what does it protect against have a think what does it protect against uh, people who are not allowed to use and what are those people called they have a name and it's a technical term hackers, hackers or unauthorized access okay so you could say I'm writing this in note form here. You would need to actually write it as a as a, set, a structured sentence in your in your question. All right. So we have hackers or unauthorized access. Great stuff. All right. So that is how you would structure your answer. Use the bullet points to help you structure the answer. All right. There is something else. This is a system. By system, there are other things that we could use. And think about this. There's a reason why this might be a networking question. Um, a antivirus. Good. Antivirus software. software. What does it do? Um, Carry on. You extend your answer. Yep. Yeah, so basically it will find and it will detect any viruses or malware that you've installed. And then it will either quarantine it or delete it. Right. What well, you need to acknowledge, and what it's a shorter answer, you've got to say that it scans, all right, looking for malicious code, all right, and can act accordingly. E.g. There we go. Yeah. Slash delete. But what does it protect against? I haven't said what it protects against yet. Yeah. All right. So my protection point would be it protects against malware. Again, this is not how because this is a video and I want to get through this quickly. This is just your structure. It's not how you would write it as a full sentence. All right. I'm going to go for another that you may not have thought of. Beginning with F. Firewall. 
All right. Now it's not a physical wall of fire for those of you that think that. All right. It is. All right. It analyzes and scans network traffic. And can block. Don't make the mistake. There are so many times where I've looked at my uh, students where they've just wrote, oh, it blocks malicious content. It's not the case. It has to scan it first because there are things it allows in your network as well. So it scans network traffic and can block malicious packets. All right, so it can block malicious packets. It's effective against, what is it effective against? Beginning with H, hackers, and transmission of malware. That there would be your nine marks, but I don't want to stop there because there are other things that we can use. All right, we've got encryption, which is the scrambling, all right, scrambling of data. Scramble data, make it unreadable. All right, it stops, it, what it does is it stops people from stealing your data. So that would be data theft. All right, data theft, it stops that. All right, we've also got MAC address filtering. All right. All hardware, and in fact, I'm gonna say all network hardware has a MAC address, a filter can decide the hardware allowed. And it stops unauthorized devices. What if I didn't trust my students? and I was worried they were going to hack the network. I can block, I can create a, a whitelist of devices that are allowed on my network, all right? Now that term black and whitelist is going to be changed, all right? So that you only need to know the concept of it. So understand that there is filtering to allow and filtering to block, all right? As long as you understand the concept, all right? It was in the previous spec, but it's going to be changed for yours. All right. So that is a rundown of the first question. Do we have any questions about this question with the points? Yes. What are each of the marks for, like individually? You get for this question here. You get the mark for the outline, the mark for naming it, and the explanation. So you get three. So there's nine. So you got three points to explain. Yeah. Yes. How much more would I need to take this point and elaborate it for it to be a proper answer? Well, so I'll, I'll give you an example here. Antivirus software can scan and look for malicious code on your computer. If it finds it, then what it will do is it will act accordingly and quarantine or delete depending on what action is needed. This Threat is a uh, using antivirus software is effective against malware. It's just yeah, and it's because it's a nine marker. You've got three points to go and keep going that. Now obviously in your mock, I'm not going to put this question because you've gone through it now. But what I will say is, doesn't stop me from putting in something that checks your understanding of each of these areas. Yes. Um, what does it say? Um, Which bit? Um, All network. Hardware has a MAC address. A filter can decide that the a 
I think I said that should be hardware allowed. All right. Okay. Or I'm going to say device change that to devices. All right. Can decide the devices allowed. Now there are other things that you might want to look at. All right. You've got access rights. Capture and software updates. All areas of network security. Access rights, it, so I'm allowed on certain websites, you're not, because they know that I'm not going to abuse it, all right? I use it as part of my job, but you may find that there are certain websites you're not allowed on, all right? I'm allowed to access network files you may find there are certain network files you're not allowed to access. By setting access rights, we can stop people from doing things on the network that they shouldn't be. Uh, software updates is a useful thing to understand because when your computer doesn't get updated, there are security holes in the software. This is a, there's a reason why nobody buys an operating system in the first six months. All right? Generally, it's home users that tend to get it in the first six months and businesses usually wait a few months so that all the updates and patches have been filled in all right so I'll stop recording on that one and do a separate one in a minute